What's up guys, Black Scout Survival, and today I got a knife review from Andrew Jordan Knives. This is the Hog, and this is a secondary or backup knife he's designed, and I really like Andrew's system. I, I adopted the same system myself a few years ago, is that I believe in a two knife survival system, where if you, whereas you have a large main blade knife, and that's your primary tool, then you have a backup smaller secondary knife that, uh, you know, if you have to do something very gnarly with a knife, you're going to do it with your secondary so you don't damage your main blade or for you know doing some finer or smaller task but this knife is the hog it's a you know edc skeleton style knife with a paracord wrap handle and there's a reason why andrew designed it this way it has a four inch blade has a clip point design here it's made of d2 steel and it is got a nice finish on it there has some jimping on the back and the reason why Andrew designed this knife like this instead of putting handles on it is the fact that this quarters can be removed to be used in a survival situation you know tie up a shelter or whatnot you know pull inner strands make you know uh, use for fishing line or something like that but you could also lash this to a spear and what you would do is you split the you know uh, staff down the middle and then place the knife in there and then wrap the paracord around and lash it to the pole there. Now a lot of people say you know you don't use your survival knife as a spear and I totally agree with that as your prime not to use your primary knife but a secondary knife like this I have no you know reason why I wouldn't do that because if I do damage or lose this who really cares because I have my primary knife. The thing is, is a lot of people that say that have probably never been in a survival situation or never killed an animal or hunted because I'm telling you now, you can go ahead and sharpen up a stick and try to harden it and there's some hogs out there that you're not going to penetrate their hide with uh, uh, a wooden spear. You're going to need something like this, you know, an actual steel blade to pierce that hide and actually, you know, put, put down that uh, animal instead of wounding them. So that's my philosophy on that. I'm not against using a knife as a spear, but not my primary knife, something like this secondary knife. That's the reason why Andrew Jordan designed it like that. D2 steel, great steel, has a lanyard on the back, you know. But something small like this, what I like about it, if you see there, the cordage portion of the knife is closer to my back hand, whereas the chole is at my front. So it really fits in my hand, even though, you know, it's a thin profiled skeleton knife, it fits in my hand great. That jimping works out fantastic and with that chole you're not losing any of this blade uh, because it's actually how the handle is so it's a good substantial handle but this knife is super super sharp knife let me get over here just just you know goes through this wood very well you know make some great feather sticks with this you could also you know do final work make a trap trigger like this see very very quickly just made a notch for a trap trigger right there so I mean you know great knife man uh, really digs in that wood and and no discomfort you would think from a knife like this you know a skeleton knife like this that you would really have some pain but that cord is just wrapped in the perfect area really just digs in that wood you know and for doing you know small stuff like this is perfect knife you know even if you have to you know, that way you can just crank out and make a spindle to a bow drill real quick. So, good, good knife. You could also use it, you know, for, I heard uh, some guys that had some Andrew Jordan's knives. They were, uh, I forget, somewhere over in Europe, but they uh, had ran out of their tent stake, so they used the uh, hog as a tent stake. So, very, you know, multifunctional knife. <clears throat> awesome piece of equipment. And, and I like how Andrew designs uh, his knives as far as striking a sphere rod because the Black Scout's designed in the same way. It has an edge on this side, whereas not on this side. So it's not going to hurt you with batoning, having that sharp, sharp edge on this side. 
because how you hold the knife here but on this side you got enough to strike a ferro rod there now moving on to the sheath this sheath can be put on the leg rig like with something like the black scout or how i've got it here how he sent it to me is that it has the tech lock mounted so you can carry on the uh, cross draw carry on the waist and I really like it like that because it can't be seen you can wear it every day like every day carry knife or throw it in your pocket if you want to but uh, check out this knife at Andrew Jordan knives as well as his other knives they're truly pieces of artwork and uh, very functional tools at the same time but check them out check out blackscoutsvile.com for more tips and tutorials and if you haven't subscribed please subscribe and as always thanks for watching